guys, it's Ryan, and today I'm here to talk about food. Oh, and Anthony's here too. Wait, that's what you brought me here for? Anyway, we're gonna be ranking popular fast food-ish, I get, it's more than just fast food. There's like other restaurants in here too. We're just gonna be ranking well-known food places. They're popular chains, I think we could say. Yeah, I guess that's a good way to say it. All right, well, let's just get started. First up on this list, we got Arby's. It's kind of like uh, the meme of it, the internet. This is like the fast food place that everyone is like, stay away from Arby's, it's gross. It's really? I've never seen that. Yeah, yeah, it's, I don't know if it's as popular anymore, but everyone online used to like, destroy it. And Arby's opened up by my house recently. Yeah. And there was so much hype around it. There was literally a line around the building for days. Like it felt like this line just never went away. It was around the building for days. And one day I'm like, you know what? Let me just go see what all the hype is about. I'm just gonna wait on this line. I'm gonna do it. And I waited on the line, I got my food, and then I realized it's just like a mundane, like a, just this plain old mundane deli sandwich. Like there's nothing special about it at all. <laughs> what did you order? I, I just got, it was just like a cold cut sandwich. Like what? I'm not gonna go to a fast food restaurant to get a cold cut sandwich when I can go to the grocery store and get better cold cuts. I would say we have to add other things in C so it's either at the bottom of C or the beginning of D. Bojangles. I've only had it one time. I literally took a road trip to another state with Seth Feeney and my brother because they have a special Mountain Dew on tap called Mountain Dew Southern Shock and I love my Mountain Dew so much. Therefore, Bojangles gets S. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I would say A or B. All right, let's put it in B. I'm kind of okay. hesitant to throw things in A. Burger King. I'm really not a fan. What? Oh, we're gonna fight on this one then. I think Burger King is so good. Listen, their mascot, the king, horrifying. Okay, <laughs> yes, but there's Ronald McDonald, so. Ter nightmare inducing. <laughs> Yeah, okay, fair, <laughs> fair point. Yeah. Denny's. Eh. Yeah, Denny's is straight garbage. I am willing to throw this right in F tier. The problem is, Denny's, I think like down south, it's pretty good. I remember going on trips to Florida and Denny's being good. But then Denny's was opening here where we are and I was so excited. Like, oh, I remember Denny's is pretty good. And then it opened and it's so bad. It is so bad. Yeah. And it's kind of just like, the place that you end up in at like 3 a.m. when everything else is closed. Yes, it is. It's the only thing open and you get, you f are forced to go there. Domino's Pizza. I had Domino's actually like two nights ago and it was so good. It is so good. Yeah, Domino's is so good. Sometimes their pizza is just like not that great, but something about this time, it was amazing. I personally think that they're always amazing but it doesn't, it definitely doesn't taste like normal pizza. That being said though, it doesn't matter if it tastes different or not. Whatever they're doing, it works. Yeah. It's so good. Honestly, their cheesy bread alone. Oh, it's so like, good. They've gotta be up here, whether it's S or A. I'm cool with putting them in both. Mm. I would say, I would say S because you know what? We haven't put anything in S yet and looking at the list, I don't know what else I'd really put in S. So yeah, that's uh, that's a fair point. Okay. Dairy Queen, DQ. I think some of their blizzards are really good. I'm not crazy about their food. I think that Dairy Queen is what they're, I mean, I was about to say, I think that Dairy Queen is what they're known for. <laughs> <laughs> which, is, oh, well, yeah. which is not incorrect. <laughs> um, I think that ice cream is like what they're known for. When you think Dairy Queen, you don't necessarily think food. Yeah. You think ice cream. I think they just also have food. Right, it's like a nice little side. Like you go for ice cream and then if you're like a little bit hungry, you're like, yeah, I'll yeah. get some food. And the food's not horrible. I'd say nine times out of 10 people go there probably for ice cream. That's probably not even close to an accurate statistic, but uh, in my head it is. So <laughs> we're gonna rank it based on that. Let's go top of B. I feel like around here, I mean, I don't really know what else is gonna go in S honestly, but. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, you know what? Maybe this is gonna go in S. So. I don't like Five Guys anymore, I used to. I still, all right, here's the thing. When I eat Five Guys, it completely destroys my stomach. It kills it's me. It's so greasy, yeah. but at the same time, it's so good. Their burgers are great. Their fries are probably the best fries out of everything on this list. And their milkshakes are amazing. I have no reason not to put it in an S. Their fries and their milkshakes are amazing. I'm over their burgers, personally. 
I've definitely had better burgers at a lot of places. I'm not willing to put them in S for the burger per se, but I'm willing to put them in S for their fries and their milkshakes. I would argue A. You wanna go for A? All right, what about top of A right now? Okay. okay. I do like Five Guys better than Burger King. I hop. I hope. I like IHOP, but it's way better if you're not door dashing it. Oh yeah, okay. Every time we door dash IHOP, it's so bad. Yeah, so, so for that reason alone, it makes me a little bit mad at them. But when you eat IHOP in restaurants, it's so it's good. So good. Wait, are, were you gonna argue for us? I would, if it's like the in restaurant experience eating breakfast at All IHOP. Right. You know what, sure, I agree. It is like the best you can get as far as breakfast, I yeah. think. I feel like I'm gonna look back on this list and be like, I don't agree with anything. <laughs> but, oh, whatever. Okay, it in out burger. I love it. I think it's so good. Yeah, I've uh, I've never had it. I've never, I've never had it. And I could not say that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like one of the best burgers I've ever had. So for me, I would, I would argue it's either S or A, but I know you have never had it. So maybe A to be safe. KFC. Um, I like KFC. I definitely had better chicken at other places, but Mountain Dew Sweet Lightning. Okay, yeah, you know what? I did have that Sweet Lightning. It's really good. And it's really good. Uh, I will say though that KFC was like, the selling point of it was the potato wedges. And for some mm. reason they're gone. I feel like if it wasn't for Sweet Lightning, I would probably put it in C. Sweet Lightning for me makes it automatically go up to B because I would go there just for the drink. All right. Yeah, that's the thing. With this list, like we can rank things based on like specific parts yeah. or things that they sell. So it's our list. We can do whatever we want. Yeah. This is a controversial one here. Because I don't eat McDonald's. Yeah. And I feel like McDonald's just gets such a, a bad reputation that like people just hear it and they're like, oh no, McDonald's is so bad. You should never eat at McDonald's while they're sitting there stuffing their faces with Wendy's and Burger King and yeah. stuff. But like it's honestly no different than any other fast food place. And it's actually pretty good. Like, I actually think their burgers are, you know what? I actually think their burgers are better than Burger King's burgers. I feel like I'm willing to put it above Burger King. All right, here's my take on Moe's. Moe's gives you free chips, free chips with every meal. If you have to give out something for free to, get to people entice to people to come and buy your food, your food probably is horrible. That's a really good point. So, Below Denny's? Oh, Denny's is Denny's trash. The <laughs> <laughs> I, really, I just made someone so angry. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true though, Denny's is trash and that's fine. If you're angry about where we put Denny's, then let us know in the comments. Then you probably live in the South and it's probably not bad where you are. Yeah. Come to ours and you'll change your mind. Panera. Yeah. Panera bread is great. I do like Panera. Also, if we're basing it on the mac and cheese. It's so good. The mac and cheese is so good, good enough to go into A. Louisiana Kitchen Popeyes. The way that it used to be, at least the location that we happened to order from, I feel like they got lazy. Yeah. Because they were like so good and now it feels like, ever since the chicken sandwich came out, I feel like that's the only part of their menu they focus on. Yeah, and, and they, their chicken sandwich is really good. It is so good, but the problem is that when I order tenders now, it's like you guys barely even cooked this. I think when I first had Popeyes, I was like, wow, this is amazing. And then, I don't know, the more I've gotten it, I feel like my opinion of it has gone down. Mine but has. Not, it hasn't gone down too much. Like I'm still gonna put it in A. I feel like I would get it before Panera, but that's also just based on convenience. I agree. No, I would get it before yeah. Panera still. I just wish you were cooking the way you were a few years ago. Yeah, Popeyes, if you see this. But you won't. Hey. I we, love you, but Come on. You think that my channel is not big enough to reach They wouldn't see it even Popeyes. on my channel. You have a channel? No. Oh, all right, well, you should you should start one. I feel like you would do pretty well. Sparrow. Trash. <laughs> yeah, Sparrow's real it's bad. really bad. <laughs> but there's something almost nostalgic there, about it. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. And for that reason, I put it not in F or D. I would put it at the bottom of C. Because right. like, it reminds me of going on vacation with Andrew actually. Hmm. And that's like a happy part of my brain. Sonic. I haven't had Sonic in a very long time. Okay, here's here's my take on Sonic. Sonic used to be this whole big thing to uh, like me and, and my other friend because like it was so far away. We had to drive yeah. so far to that Sonic, that yep. one. 
and that was the only Sonic near us. It was like a 30 minute drive. I remember and my I, first time making that drive to have it and just being so excited about it. I actually have a really funny story about Sonic 2. So my friend Nick that you've met mm -hmm. before, um, I think we were like 18 at the time and he had just, his dad had just got this like Jeep, like a Jeep Wrangler with the top down and everything. So Nick was driving it and he was like, let's take the Jeep and let's go to Sonic as an adventure. And I was like, all right. So we, we went in the Jeep and we we're gonna go to Sonic and he has his GPS and he put Sonic into the GPS and we start driving and you know, we're on the expressway and I was like really tired that day and I fell asleep in the car. And then, or actually no, this, I didn't fall asleep yet. We're driving. And then we get to the exit we're supposed to get off on and I'm like, hey, this is where Sonic is. Like, you gotta get off here. And he's like, no, no, no. The GPS is telling me to keep going. And I'm like, uh, this is, Sonic is literally right off of this exit. And he's like, no, I'm just gonna trust the GPS. And I'm like, all right. So I fell asleep after that. I'm like, whatever, I fell asleep. And then I woke up a while later to him panicking. He wakes me up and he's like, he's like, Ryan, I, I don't know what to do. We're, uh, we're about to come to a bridge. And I'm like, a bridge? Where the heck are we? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I, I'm too nervous to drive on bridges. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And I'm like, well, dude, you're gonna have to go across the bridge. There's no other yeah. way. Like we're in the lane to go on the bridge. And he's freaking out this whole time. And also the top is down to the Jeep. It's nighttime now. It's freezing, <laughs> sort of freezing cold. And it was just, uh, it was a mess of a trip. Yeah, so with all that uh, nostalgia trips in mind and uh, Sonic being generally not good ever since it opened right here, which really kind of, just ruined it. Now that there's no adventure and it's just here, we realize that the food actually isn't good, just the adventure made the food taste good. Yeah. So, yeah, probably like a C, top of C? Taco Bell. All right, two words, Baja Blast. Yeah, yeah, Baja Blast is something, huh? Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's just the unbeatable soda. It's so good. I was never really like a soda person, but yeah, uh, Anthony kind of got me into Baja Blast. Not that I'll go out of my way and buy it and drink soda, but like if I were to, if Baja Blast were to be an option for me to drink it with a meal, I would choose Baja yeah. over anything else. Recently you here, you've been on the Baja train. Every time we get food together, yeah. you, you always have a Baja with it. So do we want to put it like by KFC? Because like, of Sweet, sweet Lightning, lightning honestly, next to sure, yeah. But I like, don't... I would prefer Baja, I think. Oh yeah, I think so too. So we'll yeah. put it above KFC. Baja's just so good, it's yeah. unbeatable. Wendy's, Wendy's has so much nostalgia for me, I have to put it in S. I get no say, okay, my guess. Yeah. <laughs> it's just because like, that was where all my like childhood Taekwondo memories are. Not at my mm -hmm. Taekwondo school, they were at Wendy's. No, I'm totally kidding, but like Wendy's was across the street from Taekwondo, so we'd you used do to... class go to Wendy's. No, what he means class. by his Taekwondo uh, being very nostalgic at Wendy's is he used to go into Wendy's and beat up the employees <laughs> doing Taekwondo. He would karate chop them until he got free food and it always worked. Yeah, I have I have so many funny stories of Wendy's, but like we legitimately had like designated seats at Wendy's. Like we went there so much. Like we'd be like, this is our table. We would sit by the window and like, yeah, it's nostalgic. It's actually so nostalgic that I have to put it at number one. S tier, number one. I, it's not there because of their food. Like Wendy's is good, but it's definitely not better than everything I'm putting it above. But it's there because it has the most nostalgia for me that there's no way I could put it any lower. If I put it any lower, Nick would probably stop being friends with me. So it's gotta be there. There is a problem. Our S tier is Domino's and IHOP. I know, I was looking at that before. And, and I'm like, now that I look at it, I don't think that that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Because but, uh, I, there are so many places on this list that, you would go that to I would go to before both of those places. How did this happen? <laughs> I don't know, IHOP is there because of the breakfast experience in a restaurant. <laughs> That's what got I And Domino's there. is there, why? Because of cheesy bread. <laughs> is that enough? We're not even gonna change it. That's why I was saying before, I'm like, I look at this list and like, none of it seems correct this to me. This doesn't make sense in my head at all. I would for sure get Popeyes before, I, before yeah. both of those. Yeah, but. I would for sure get Raisin Cane's. I'd probably get Steak and Shake. I think I would get this entire A tier yeah. before I would get either of those. I haven't even had Steak and Shake and I'd get it before Domino's. <laughs> but the fun part about this is that 
We're looking at this tier list and we know none of it is correct at all it's, and we're gonna leave it. It's gonna stay completely we're, messed we're, up. We not only made them mad, but I think I'm mad. Oh, I'm also upset. When I just saw that our S tier was literally gonna end up being like Domino's and IHOP, I'm like, this is, something went horribly something wrong. Something is really wrong. <laughs> I don't, for I'm, the record, I don't think IHOP is S tier and I don't think Domino's is S tier. Okay, and honestly, now that I look at it, I would get KFC before these four also and B. <laughs> This is our list, guys, and um, we're, we're just agreeing here that not a single thing on this list is correct. Yeah. This one is a nightmare. And feel free to let us know in the comments how bad this tier list was. Tell us what you think went wrong, because we have no idea what went wrong. Tell us how much you love Domino's and IHOP and why they belong in S tier. And tell us if you had a great experience at Denny's and you think it should be S tier. And just remember, the next time you put Sonic into your GPS, Make sure you're not going out of state. Yes. Make sure when you put anything into your GPS at all, you actually look where the GPS is taking you. You don't just press go and start driving. I think that's, if you're gonna take anything away from this, that should be the lesson from today's video. Well, yeah. Because... Ignore the list. <laughs> all right, well, yep, that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. Like the video, subscribe if you're new, and um, yeah, that's it. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. All right, so you wanna go to Denny's now? Heck yeah. Oh, I should disappear. Oh. I, I was doing a bit. Wait up. <laughs> I'll run the other way. <laughs>